Hi everyone, thank you all for joining to this presentation. Let me introduce myself. My name is Oleg Mitrenko. I am a PhD student of the Institute for Information Recording of the National Academy of Science of Ukraine. And today I am going to talk about using part of speech tagging for building network of terms in legal sphere. Professor Dmitry Lande is the co-author of this work. This work is devoted to an important formalization problem and building the terminological ontology of subject domains based on content-related text data that thematic information flows distributed on the Internet contain. I want to start from the fact that the modern information and communication technologies or the information space in general are developing faster than ever before. This process is characterized by the correspondingly rapid increase in data volumes. Data is created, recorded, stored, processed and reproduced increasingly often in electronic form. As a result, over the past first year, humanity has produced more information than during all previous history. But the majority of such data, however, are unstructured data, including unnecessary and noise data, about 95% of all data. And only a very small part of all data is a piece of valuable information that can be used in decision-making. It should be noted that uh, scientific and technological progress has also affected in particular the legal sphere. The number of normative legal documents submitted in electronic forms is also constantly growing, and in order to make legal decision, it's sometimes necessary to read thousands of documents, deliberately rejecting information noise. For quick legal decision, it will be useful to obtain brief and at the same time the most important information or informative statement from one or more legal text documents in the form of uh, so-called abstract or annotations. Thus, the problem of computerized processing of legal information and improving exciting or developing new automatic text summarization systems that simplifies access to main content of the text without the need to process a large text document or text corpus are still a relevant task. Also, the detection of duplicates and uh, inconsistencies in legal documents is also a relevant and important task. It should be noted that the defining feature of legal documents is that the related texts are not fully freely accessible and unstructured. A structure of separate types of legal documents and the use of the best universal summarization system does not give satisfactory results. These features are important to consider when choosing the appropriate method or approach for solving the problem of computerized text processing in the legal sphere. Consider the fact that many tasks that arise when working with text information flows lie at the intersection between mathematical science and linguistic theory. It's open wide opportunities to apply a powerful mathematical and linguistic theory. In this work, it proposes to use a linguistic network model as an ontological model of text data. One of the forms of this network model is a model built of keywords and phrases. In this network of terms, nodes correspond to the individual words and phrase in the text and the edge to the formal semantic connection between them. To extract key terms, the computerized natural language text processing that include text tokenization and part of speech tagging are used. This pair processing method can be easily applied to different types of text using the standard Python libraries, in particular Natural Language Toolkit library that provides a practical tool for building Python program to work with the human language data. The proposed in this work method for determining keywords and phrases is based on the use of the result obtained through the process of classification of words by parts of speech. Part of speech taking is a process of marking up a word in the text or corpus as corresponding to the particular part of speech based uh, on both its definition and its context. This slide presents the pen tree bank list of texts that use it for part of speech taking task. We use the classic set of texts format on the basis of the brown corpus because uh, in this work we process in English language legal texts. The practical research shows that the most used part of speech in English are the two minors, sync or mass nouns, plural nouns, personal pronouns, verbs and all their forms, adjectives including comparative adjectives and superlative adjectives, adverbs, preposition and coordinating construction. 
In general, individual nouns that usually relate to people, place, scenes or concepts and nouns coupled with adjectives are considered as key terms. Also, in this work, phrases that satisfy the patterns presented on this slide are considered to be important. As was noted above, preposition and coordinating construction, individual verbs and their forms are commonly used but at the same time no informative. But the phrases that correspond to the patterns that this slide presents are also considered as key terms. After forming the phrase according to described above patterns and arranging them in the setting order, the individual stop words are removed. Also in this paper, in addition to the standard set of stop words, it's proposed to use a list of stop words formed by experts within the research subject domain. Next, for each term that satisfies the patterns proposed above in the order of its occurrence in the text, the so-called tuple is formed. Each tuple consists of three elements. The first element is a term, a word or format phrase. The next is a tag or combination of tags assigned to the word depending on to which part of speech this word or phrase belongs. The last element of this set is a numeric value of global term frequency. Global term frequency is calculated taking into account the two first elements of tuple, the word or phrase and the part of speech to which it belongs. The number of such identical pairs that normalize it to the total number of format terms in the whole text determines the value of the third element of the format tuple. In other words, global term frequency determines how the term is important in the global context. The next step is to determine the undirected links between the key terms in the text. The horizontal visibility graph algorithm is used to transform time series that format with the sequences of numerical values of global term frequency into the undirected graph. According to this algorithm, at the first stage, a number of nodes marked on the horizontal axis, each of which corresponds to the terms in the order on which they appear in the text, and the weight values the numerical estimates are marked on the vertical axis. Two nodes are connected in the horizontal visibility graph if only if these nodes are in the direct visibility. Direct visibility between nodes means that they can be connected with the horizontal line which does not intersect any vertical line in the resulting plot. At the second stage, a horizontal visibility graph is built. The next step is to determine the direction of links in the undirected network of terms obtained above. If there is an undirected link between the nodes, then the directed network of terms is built on principle of entering the terms into its corresponding phrase with more number of words and for individual keywords on the principle of visibility from left to right. To determine the weight of links, it proposed to combine or in other words merge the nodes that correspond to the same terms in the previously built directed network into a single one. The number of the same directed links between the same nodes determines the weight of this link. The freely available English text Universal Declaration of Human Rights, published by the United Nations of its website, was used to test the proposed methodology. As a result of using the proposed methodology, the terminological ontology in the form of network of terms was obtained. The table presented on this slide contains the key terms sorted in degrees in order of their global term frequency. In conclusion, in this work it was proposed a new methodology for building ontological models in the legal sphere, which can be used in particular in a system of automatic legal information summarization. It helps to generate concise information-rich reports based on short annotation or digest and simplifies access to the main content of the legal text without the need to process a large text document or text corpus. Also, the proposed methodology can be used to detect the duplicates and contradiction in legal documents. Okay, thank you all for attention.